Hello everyone, in this lesson I am going to start exercise 14C of D to 7th edition. I hope all of you are fine. So we are going to discuss Venn diagram today. This exercise is related to Venn diagram. Question number 1 is, it is given that we have a universal set and that is letters of the English alphabets. Okay. Draw Venn diagram to illustrate the following sets. We need to draw Venn diagram and we need to illustrate these given sets and in each case we are going to find the intersection B as well. So starting from question, part number A basically is we have a set A and that has the elements A, B, C, E, F and then we have a set B that has the elements B, C, O, P, Q. Right. Now as you know that Venn diagram is uh, a diagram uh, in which we have a rectangle and this rectangle is representing the universal set while set A and B both of them are represented by these uh, circles and uh, this part is overlapping part for A and B this belongs to uh, A as well as to B. So what we are going to do is that we are going to write over here in this part the elements which are common in A as well as in B. So if you observe from A and B we have got B and C. Uh, both of these elements are part of the set A as well as part of the set B. So we are going to write B and C in this part. So after writing B and C in this part, from the set A, B and C they are written in this part. This part belongs to A as well as well as to B. Now what elements are left behind after B and C in A? Uh, we have uh, A we have E and F. Now these three A, E and F. Now they are left behind so you are going to write it in this section of A because they are the elements that belongs only to A. Okay. The next one is for B. From the set B the elements B and C. Now we have written them over here. This is a part that belongs also to B. So the common elements will be written over here while the elements which are not common that is O, P and Q they will be written over here. After writing the elements of sets A and B uh, you need to write uh, the rest of the English alphabets mean the alphabets other than these which are part of A and B. Those alphabets which are written over here in A and B you are not going to write them again. However, the alphabets other than these will be written outside these circles but within the rectangle because we have to complete the elements of universal set and they have told you that universal set is letters of the English alphabet. So this universal set that is represented by rectangle it must have all the English alphabets within it. So some of them are in circles A and B while the rest are written outside the circles. This is the solution and what about A intersection B? Now in A intersection B is the part which is common to both A and B mean this part and the elements in this part is B and C the two elements are uh, the uh, answer for A intersection B. Now for part B we have A uh, a set that has the elements a, C, E, G and we have a set B having elements P, Q, R. So first of all draw a rectangle in order to represent universal set then draw sets A and B that are circles. Uh, this part is overlapping part so now from observing A and B uh, we do not have any common element in A and B elements of A and elements of B are different. So this overlapping part will be empty because when no element is common in A and B you are going to leave this part empty. No element belongs to this part. So you are going to write elements of A in this section the section that only belongs to A, A, C, E, G the elements of uh, A are written in the circle of A in the region that only belongs to A while the elements of B that are P, Q and R they will be written in this part. What about the elements which are written outside? 
as I have told you that universal set is a set that has letters of English alphabet. That means this rectangle should have all the English alphabets within it. So in order to have all the alphabets within this rectangle, you are going to write the alphabets other than these which are written in the circles. So those alphabets which are missing, which are other than these will be written outside. So this is the answer and what about A intersection B? As you can see that uh, we don't have any element in this uh, uh, overlapping part that will be an empty set or you may write it as 5, right. The next one is part number C and uh, we have got uh, a set A that has the elements X, Y, Z, M, N and a set B that has the consonants in the word money, okay. So part C is uh, we are we have drawn a rectangle to represent universal set then a set a uh, to represent x y z m and n and then a set b represented by the circle of b that has the consonants in the word money so let us first of all point out the consonants we have m a consonant over here a consonant then we have n okay and then we have y so we have got three consonants in the word money so no the next part is to fill these circles and first of all you are going to fill this overlapping part and and this overlapping part will be filled by the elements which are common to both a and b that mean m and m that is a part of both a and b n and n uh, this element is also part of both a and b and then we have got y and y the common element to both a and b so you are going to write m and n and y in this overlapping part which belongs both to a and b what about the rest now after writing m n and y in this part which is a part of a as well as a part of b uh, so you have taken these three elements m n and y these are written in this overlapping part rest elements from a rest of the elements from a which are x and z so they will be written in this section that only belongs to a and what about b b is this section of b is empty uh, because we don't have got any element in b other than m n and y uh, and m n and y are the in overlapping section so this part will be empty uh, and and what about the elements that are written the outside uh, these two circles as i have told you that uh, this e that is representing a universal set uh, it has all the elements of english alphabets as they have told us over here that uh, a universal set has letters of the english alphabets so uh, this rectangle must have all the english alphabets so uh, after after filling the circles the alphabets which are missing they will be written in this part the letter of the english alphabet which are missing after filling the circles will be written in this part part number d and uh, we have got a set a that is consonants in the word mathematics so i have written the consonants in the word mathematics in the uh, in the set of a that are m t h c s these are the consonants and one more thing we are not going to write a repeated letter for example t uh, is uh, uh, being repeated twice in uh, the word mathematics so you are going to write it only once similarly the case applies to m as well in the word mathematics m is coming twice so you are just going to write it only once so write down the consonants from the word mathematics in set a and what about set b well set b is uh, has the elements that are consonants in the word statistics so the word statistics has got these these following consonants s t and c now we are going to represent it in venn diagram though this rectangle is representing a universal set okay uh, so we have got a universal set uh, in which we have a and b so first of all we have to uh, fill the circles of a and b and and from here we are going to start from this overlapping part First of all, you are going to write the elements which are both part of A and part of B. And from the sets of A and B, we can have this idea that C is 
present in both the sets and then T is present in both the sets A and B and S. S is present in both of them. So these three elements T, C and S they will be written in this common part that belongs both to A and B. After writing the common elements in overlapping section, write down the rest of the elements of A in this part that are M and H in this part. And what about B? So B has got all the elements that are written in the overlapping part. So this part will be empty. We don't have got any element that belongs to this part. Uh, all of the elements of B are uh, belonging to the overlapping section. Now the elements outside as I have told you in order to complete the elements of universal set. Well the universal set has all the elements of the English alphabet as told in the question. So whatever the alphabets of the English alphabet that are not part of these two will be written outside um, the circles of A and B in order to complete the elements of universal set that is all the English alphabets. Then part number part number E. So from part number E we have got a letter of the word universal okay I have written it over here this one U N I V E R S A L and then we have got B letters of the word probability P R O B A I have missed B over here because you can't write an element twice so B will be written only once so these are the letters from the word probability without repetition what about its Venn diagram this rectangle represents a universal set and inside that we have A and B represented by these two circles. Now because as I have told you, you are going to fill the circles of A and B and you are going to start from this over overlapping part and this part will be having the elements that are common to both A and B. Mean those elements which are present in both A and B will be written in this part. So we can have those elements, we have I. Uh, present in both of them so I is written over here then we have got R which is present in both the sets A and B so written over here A is present in the set A as well as in B so that is written over here and L okay after writing those elements which are coming in the common overlapping section uh, the rest of the elements which are not part of this one uh, will be written over here so from the set A as we have written I and we have written R and we have written A and L. These are written over here, rest will be written over here and that is U, N, V, E and S that are the part over here. What about B? So excluding the elements that are written over here from B the rest of the elements from B will be written over here. So P O B T Y from B will be written over here because the rest are written the rest which are common in A and B they are written over here. Now what about the elements which are written outside the circles of A and B? No because because we have to write all the English alphabets within this rectangle as this rectangle is a universal set what we are going to do we will see that the elements from the English alphabets uh, letters of the English alphabets which are uh, not present in these circles those missing alphabets will be written the outside these two circles so you counting will be equal to 26 the letters in the English alphabet and the last part is F that is uh, a, a set that has vowels in the word transformation so I have taken out vowels from the word transformation for set A and for set B we have vowels in the word combinations and uh, I have taken out the vowels from the word combination after taking out the elements of A and B draw a universal set represented by this rectangle and we have these two circles that are representing sets A and B. Hmm. So you are going to fill A and B first of all we are going to fill this overlapping part and that will be filled by those elements which are part of both A and B and from set A and B you can see that we have got A which is present in A and B, I is present in A and B and O is present in A and B so all of them will be written over here in the in the common part in the overlapping section of A and B. 
now after filling this overlapping section we don't have any element left in a so this will be empty we don't have any element left in b that will be empty this part because we have got all the elements that are in the overlapping section and rest of the english alphabets will be written outside within the rectangle so this is the answer for question number one yes what is the answer for a intersection b a intersection b the, this was also asked a intersection b for here will be a i o a intersection b for this part will be this section the elements which are coming in the overlapping part i r a l and i have told intersection for this one t c s is the part where we have got common elements and a intersection b is the set that has got common elements t c s okay i hope i have told this one as well c a intersection b has the elements which are common to both a and b so the elements in this overlapping part mean m n and y they are the result they are the part of the set a intersection b this is answer for question number one so this is up to question number one solution of exercise 14c in my next lesson i will be uploading the next questions from 14c thank you so much